preliminary report released today details some of the moments leading up to the crash of the Cessna 180H airplane that killed Bush pilot Jim Tweedo of Unanuclete and outdoor guide Shane Reynolds of Orofino, Idaho. The crash happened on a remote off-airport mountain ridgeline airstrip near a camp where hunting guides were staying after a trip. The NTSB's investigation reveals the airplane Tweedo was piloting was operated by Golden Eagle Outfitters as part of a remote bear hunting excursion. The Cessna struck a tree upon takeoff, disabling the aircraft's left stabilizer or its pitch control. Clint Johnson with the NTSB's Alaska Regional Office says the plane was largely uncontrolled after that. That wreckage arrived here in Anchorage just hours ago. So we're in the process of putting a, uh, uh, a wreckage layout together. That's very standard for what we do for our investigations. So we're going to be looking at the airframe, the power plant, which is the engine in this case, looking at it from a very detailed standpoint. You can see the fractured tree right here, as shown in the investigation reports, with fragments of red paint. Johnson says the mountain airstrip involves aircraft having to take off downhill and land uphill. He says Tweedo had flown in and out of this remote area before, using the phrase a number of times. A guide who was at the scene of the crash had said winds had been gusting and changing a lot that day. Others in the area had described the winds as unusual. There's a lot more work to do. We don't know if there was a momentary loss of engine power. We don't know if there was a medical issue. We don't know if there was maybe a control issue. Yes, the end result is it, it appears at this early juncture that the, the airplane struck a tree on takeoff and disabled one of the flight controls. But we don't know what led up to that. That's our job right now to see if we can figure out what happened during those couple of moments before the, the airplane hit the tree. Johnson says a full investigation on a crash like this can take as long as a year. He says he doesn't see why this crash would take longer than that. Jim Tweedo was known to countless pilots who he influenced and taught in his career. He's also known for being a star of the Discovery Channel reality show Flying Wild Alaska.